Hi Virgo, let's see what messages are going to show up for you for your solar eclipse reading. The energies for the solar eclipse, they still apply for up until a year. What we're manifesting, we see the changes for up until a year. So yes, let's see. In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended where I'm going to have a look at your past person, new person's energy, advice for you, blessings, challenges, and what to expect. You can also have a look at your yearly predictions in the description box below. So Virgo, for you, <clears throat> um, the solar eclipse in Aries is happening in your 8th house. 8th house, okay? Now, 8th house is a house of endings, new beginnings, um, can represent enemies as well sometimes, but it's a, it can represent karmic lessons. Generally speaking, there's a, a lot of renewal that I see is happening in your life. You may be figuring things out, you may be trying something new, um, but it's, it's like there's this energy of uh, doing something from scratch, okay, or how do I say this starting fresh in regards to a particular situation it's it's like um, I'm getting an image of uh, a building or a place that's falling apart but then someone rebuilding it with a new structure with a new vision um, making it work okay that's that's seeming to be the theme for you at the moment but let's see of course we have door to personal healing and happiness so yeah lately you've been focused on yourself you've been trying to work on your self-confidence some of you could be 34 37 years old or number one two three and seven and four are significant numbers so these numbers could be your birthday your life path number you could be born on the 12th the seventh the third fourth second you have number nine as well yeah it does look like you've been heartbroken recently someone has broken your heart but with with all of these energies i don't feel like this is something that's negatively impacting you because to me it's looking like you're viewing things from a different perspective okay um it's like you're using that heartbreak energy to move forward it's fueling you okay to do something better and to do something good for yourself and others okay and i'm also getting an energy here of you focusing on your self-confidence six chakra energy there's something very spiritual here showing up for you as well you could be 40 as well so with the sixth chakra and the third chakra this is all about your self-confidence this is the solar plexus and then the sixth chakra so this is about what we know what we recognize what empowers us okay and I feel like if you have Pisces placements, I would suggest you watch the Pisces reading um, because there's something here that you're being guided towards through your intuition. So it's very important that you pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities at the moment, Virgo. Um, if there's a repeated number, if there's something you keep seeing again and again, then there's probably uh, a message for you in there, okay? Let's see. Caring connection and then magician and the mirror. Some of you could be trying to manifest a person. Okay, this is someone you truly loved. To me, it's looking like you're not in communication with this person or you're not in... Um, you're not in contact with this person at the moment okay um it's like i'm getting an energy that you're trying to manifest this person or some of you may be in this energy of okay i i love someone i want them but i'm just gonna leave the situation alone because of this heartbreak because for some reason this person's not in your life at the moment this is not like this is yeah this is a situation virgo that you're choosing to 
you're just leaving it alone okay and the magician and the mirror card is reminding me of your own energy okay because this is mercury this is creating co-creating with the universe and there's an infinity symbol so with with the magician and the mirror and the sixth chakra energy this is really talking about your intuition your sixth sense your gut feeling and also seeing dreams and visions of certain things so i know being an earth sign you're very practical but if you keep seeing something again and again if there's a visual that you keep seeing a number that is repeating then i would suggest virgo that you pay attention because there's going to be a message for you in there okay but this is beautiful because you even though you have the broken heart energy you have door to personal healing and happiness so i i still see you working on yourself and i also see you working on your self-confidence okay so let's just have a look let's have a look at the tarot messages that will show up for you so we have here the four of wands which is harmony relationships balance okay uh, we have here the temperance and the ten of wands oh yeah there is a big focus on a relationship here some of you are manifesting a person in your life but right now you're going through a phase of ending and maybe some of you have gone through an ending recently and whatever came to an end it was very burdening and exhausting for you but it changed your perspective okay with the temperance card you you're showing a lot of patience here and um there's just this energy of you recognizing that there are certain things that certain things that are not worth your time not worth your energy okay um there is a relationship or maybe even a family situation on your mind but you're taking a step back from it i don't feel like this is family this is a relationship because of the hierophant and the four of wands here queen of pentacles the emperor and the page of cups I see you opening up to love again, Virgo. I do see here that you're opening up to someone. Now, the thing here is that there is someone coming in with an offer towards you with the Page of Cups, but the Page of Cups energy is different from the King of Cups. So make sure that you and this person are on the same page when it comes to your relationships or how much you're interacting with this person because uh i clearly see here that yes this person wants you but there is some form of a disbalance here when it comes to them expressing themselves um and the way they love and the way you love it's you know the pages are good it's a fresh energy it's enthusiastic but the king of cups is someone more serious okay what's the emperor and the queen of pentacles page of wands I really feel like Virgo you're attracting new people in your life like there is out with the old in with the in with the new energy and for some of you your existing relationship is also going to get better in in your future energies I'm seeing focus on communication or you being open to trying new things I feel like with the emperor and the queen of pentacles you're also going to be focusing on your money a lot more on your business a lot more or building a solid firm foundation for yourself but with the page of wands and the page of cups energy it's it's like doing something that excites you so some of you could be starting a side hustle or putting your energy into something that you love to do okay <clears throat> i'm hearing lack of focus lack of focus all right let's see what's your challenge and advice mm. i feel like uh, virgo what you want to manifest you will manifest it but your challenge and advice have something to do with what you're waiting on something you're waiting on something you're hoping for something but the three of wands is creating delays some of you are not really wanting to see delays in your life anymore you just want for things to happen rapidly because you're tired of waiting on things and this is some sort of manifestation that you're working on maybe it's about a relationship or uh, money with the ten of pentacles <sighs> i 
I feel like Virgo, the message for you here is to not rush into something, whether that be a relationship or a money situation. Um, yes, you make a decision, but really think things through before you open yourself up to something because there is an unforeseen expense coming up in the near future as well. Okay, some of you need to save your money. You need to save your money. Let's see what's the message from the universe for you, Virgo. We have the star, the lovers, and the eight of cups. Oh, ace of cups. Okay, this is very strange. You're getting the most strange message. It's like walking away from someone who you felt like you had a forever with and then still finding new love. So it's like here, there's a lot of hope, there's love, there are choices, but then the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups is like, maybe I need to leave it behind. Some of you had to give up hope on a relationship and it's heartbreaking. Okay. Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups is walking away from something because it practically does not make sense anymore. But as you're walking away, you're finding something new. So because, you know, it's in the eighth house and I already told you that eighth house is the house of endings and new beginnings. So it's, it's not that you're walking away from something Virgo and you're not finding anything. You're still finding a way back to yourself. Okay. And you're manifesting a new beginning but there are certain things that you need to be very patient about and there's also some sort of hope that you need to give up on i don't know if it's about a relationship or rushing into making some sort of a financial decision okay All right, so your person's feelings for you, their view of you, actions they plan on taking, where is it going, and your advice, and your new person's energy. If you don't have a new person, take this side as a prediction. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands, so communication. Um, so yes, the extended is going to be linked below. You can have a look at it if you would like. And that's it for you, Virgo, for today, and I'll see you guys next time.